Who didn't like playing in ball pits when they were a child? Now let's imagine a room filled with these balls constantly moving around in different directions. This is how molecules in a gas move. In this video, we're going to discover more about amazing gases and the effect temperature and pressure have on them. Have you ever wondered why the cork explodes out of a champagne bottle? Or the fizz when you open up a shaken bottle of Coca-Cola? This is all to do with gas and pressure building up inside the bottles. So let's have a look at pressure and gases in a little more detail. Gases exert a pressure on any surface which they are in contact with. The more particles that hit the walls of the container, the higher the pressure. Like when you shake a Coke bottle, and as it fizzes, the bottle feels harder than before. This is the gas particles pushing against the plastic bottle. So we have the equation, pressure is force per unit area. We also see the effect of pressure in gases when we blow a balloon up too much, and it pops. This is because we've increased the pressure of the air molecules pushing against the rubber balloon too much. Heating also increases pressure. Why is that? As a gas is heated up, the particles gain more energy and move around more quickly. They then hit into the walls of the container harder and more often. This understandably increases the pressure, and if the pressure is too great, the container can burst. Again, think of popping balloons and bursting tires. Ever read on your deodorant can a warning that says not to leave it in the sun? This is because inside the can is a gas, and as we just discovered, heating up a gas causes the pressure to increase and can result in that can exploding. Not a good idea. So what happens if we then cool down the gas? This time, the particles have less energy, and so less pressure is being exerted on the container, which is why balloons shrink and become sad and saggy. Now, it's time for something none of us like. Needles and syringes. Thankfully, there are no injections for us today, we're just learning that needles and syringes work due to pressure in gases. When the plunger of a syringe is pulled out, it causes the volume in the chamber to increase. This increased volume causes the pressure inside to decrease. Now we have created a vacuum that wants to repressurize to normal atmospheric levels. Since it's a sealed system, except for the needle into your arm, the only fluid available is your blood, which gets sucked into the chamber. Your blood then reduces the volume, and so the pressure increases back to normal. Pause the video and fill in the missing words. Did you get them right? So there we have the effects of volume, temperature and molecules on the pressure of a gas. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I'll see you next time. Please like and share our videos with your friends. If you have any questions that you want help with, just comment below.